Hey, Google Workspace admins, this is Goldie again. Recently, someone asked, what's the difference between Beyond Corp and Google Workspace? Because they are already using Google Workspace Enterprise Plus, and their question was, why do we still need Google Beyond Corp? Or why should we complement our Google Workspace subscription with Beyond Corp? So I thought to make this quick video to help you understand the difference. Hopefully, after this video, you will have that clarity. So what's the difference between Google Workspace and Beyond Corp. Now, I assume that you are already running Google Workspace Enterprise subscription, which comes with context aware access that lets you uh, create conditional access policies so that your context, whether it's user site context like the IP address or the geographic location or the device context, whether this device is encrypted, company owned, personal owned, is this encrypted? Uh, all that context is, uh, uh, is is leveraged when making a decision whether you would have access to a given resource or not. So that comes with Google Workspace Enterprise subscription. It's called Context Aware Access. If you are not running Google Workspace Enterprise yet, then this video might not help. I will uh, recommend you to go back and see if you should upgrade to Enterprise version to get Context Aware Access because that will be the first step to your journey towards uh, zero trust in Google Workspace. Okay, so now assuming you already have this in place, you can certainly create context of your access policies, which will let you uh, access or not access Google Workspace resources. Now to understand why you need Beyond Corp or why you should complement Google uh, Workspace with Beyond Corp, let's understand the nature of context of your access control because it's binary and the limited scope that it offers. So number one, the scope of context of your access is binary, which means once you uh, leverage the context to make the decision whether a user will or will not have access to a certain uh, set of applications, that's binary. User will have access or will not have access based on the context, okay? Second thing is the limited scope of uh, context of your access it can be applied on Google Workspace native applications such as Gmail, Drive, Meet, Chat, etc. and on SAML applications where Google is acting as your identity provider. Okay, so why do you need Beyond Corp then or why should you complement Google Workspace with Beyond Corp? Let's take both of these scenarios, binary access control and limited scope and see how Beyond Corp can help us go one step further so for example let's say based on my context i can log in or i can access google drive but what if we want to make a policy saying user cannot download or upload sensitive content from or to google drive that will come under beyond corp if you need like more protection from malware phishing and alerting that will also come under uh, Beyond Corp. So in case if you just need more controls, but your scope will f still be SAML applications and uh, uh, Google Workspace native applications or any known uh, web app which will be uh, leveraging Google Chrome as a browser, you can go with Beyond Corp Enterprise essentials which is primarily meant for google workspace customers and i have one more video which talks about which plan you should subscribe to okay now before i show you the second part of it which is to enhance the scope where you can cover more applications let me show you a quick demonstration uh, to make the point which we just discussed okay so here is my uh, dashboard uh, of google workspace dashboard and you as you see here this instance uh, is running in Canada, okay? And my context of your access policy says that in case if uh, the user is not coming or, or the request is not coming from United States, then the user will have access but only to non-sensitive applications like chat and meet. They won't have access to Google Drive and Gmail. And to prove that, if I click first, Let's see, it's the user identity is bce at mydomain.com. So if I go to, let's say, Google Meet, I should be able to access Google Meet. And uh, if I say, what's my IP? 
you will see that it's running in Canada. Okay, so I have access to Google Meet as expected, but if I go to Google Drive, it should be rejected. It says you can't access from this location because the request is coming from outside US. Okay, now let me go to my uh, different uh, browser here, and if I do a quick refresh here to see that this instance is indeed running in US, so that means I should be able to access Google Drive, and that should be the case. Again, let me show you uh, it's the same user ID. So now when I click on Google Drive, you will see that I have access because the request is indeed coming from US. Okay. Now, context of your access has done its part so far. I was rejected uh, to access Google Drive because my context didn't meet uh, the required conditions. Here, I was able to access Google Drive because I met the required context uh, or uh, conditions, okay? Now, context of your access part is over here in terms of uh, the uh, grant access part, okay? That's binary. So I have two documents here. The first one is a goodbye document, and then the second one is a private document. So the goodbye document says, well, I don't have anything uh, sensitive in nature, so users should be fine downloading it. But the private document, it has some sensitive information, okay? I'm just triggering the secret keyword here, but it can be anything that you will consider as sensitive, okay? So now, if you need to apply a policy where users should be able to download the good boy, but not the private document because it's sensitive in nature, that part will be solved by Beyond Corp Enterprise. And let me show you that. So if I'm on good boy, and if I click on download, I should be able to download it fine. You will see the scan happening in the bottom left-hand side right here. And once the scan is done, it says security checks are done. You have downloaded the document. But now let's try that on the private document. Okay, the scan is taking place again. And as you will see very soon, it says, sorry, this document has private or sensitive information. You can review the message, which your admin can uh, for sure customize and come with, come with better messaging here. But the idea is that you can control what happens when user has got access to the resource based on the context. You can take a step further with Beyond Corp and control uh, what happens after the user got access. Now, it's not just limited to Google Workspace application, for example, Google Drive. Let's take another example. This is my Dropbox for the same user, okay? What I'm gonna do is click on Upload and try to upload a file, okay? It's the same private document which has that uh, sensitive information. When I click on Upload, you will see the scan is taking place within the Chrome and you get a message which says, you are not allowed to, uh, I forgot to change the message, but essentially it says, no brother, you can't upload uh, because it has sensitive content, okay? So this is how Google uh, Workspace can be complemented with Beyond Corp Enterprise Essentials if your plan is to have uh, context ever access plus take a step further and control what happens after user got access to the resource uh, based on the context. So you should be able to do things like data loss prevention, copy and paste prevention, print prevention, uh, data upload uh, prevention in case if it meets some sensitive information, malware phishing protection, and everything will be logged so you can leverage those logs to enhance your security posture, okay? That's the first thing which can be solved with Google Beyond Corp Enterprise Essential, primarily meant for Google Workspace businesses. Okay, or the businesses that are using Google Workspace. Now let's take the second one, which is the scope, because whatever we saw so far, it is scoped to, I would say three things, Google applications, uh, Google Workspace applications, SAML applications where Google is being used as identity provider, any, any other application where Chrome is being leveraged like Dropbox or Box or Salesforce, et cetera. But in case if you need to enhance your uh, scope even more, how about the applications that you have running inside Google Cloud, maybe an App Engine app or Compute Engine app, or in fact, if you have those applications running in Azure AD or Amazon Web Services, or also in your local infrastructure. If you need to put that same kind of conditions-based continuous access, how would you do that? You can, again, complement it with Beyond Corp Enterprise Subscription, okay? 
Again, Enterprise Essentials is primarily meant for Google Workspace customers who would like to uh, have more controls on Google Workspace plus XAML apps plus the third-party apps, uh, which are running in browser kind of SaaS apps where you need uh, data loss prevention, etc. Beyond Corp Enterprise is meant for everything. That's the highest tier, and I have different pricing uh, video where you can have the same controls on apps running in Google Cloud and other clouds and also on-prem. So I have this uh, app engine application that's called IAP at mydomain.com. And if it is before I can access that app engine app, it is asking me for my uh, context. So for example, when I log in, it's going to ask me for my uh, credentials. And uh, now I can see that application. So going back to the scenario, in case if you just need the basic access uh, control on Google Cloud Platform, which leverages users out of context, such as users IP range and location, then that's provided within GCP itself based on identity where proxy. But in case if you need to take step further and leverage device context, browser context, partner signals, or if you need to protect applications running on-prem and in other clouds, then you should go with Beyond Corp Enterprise. So I hope, and, and by the way, if you have Beyond Corp Enterprise, you kind of uh, get everything that's uh, shown here. So I hope this video might have given some clarity uh, on when uh, you would need to or you should complement your Google Workspace or uh, Google Cloud Platform subscription with Beyond Corp Essentials or Beyond Corp Enterprise. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. With that, thank you so much.